You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm playing more PlayStation games on the PlayStation Classic itself using RetroArch. Next on my list here is CyberSled. I bet you most of you won't remember this one, but I consider it a classic because I played it a lot in the arcades. It actually costs a lot of uh, quarters to be honest, uh, or tokens, depending where you are. It was a fun game if you have someone to battle with. You sit in these big chairs, you have a twin, like a twin stick uh, control, similar to Virtual On, and um, it's, pretty, it's pretty good for its time. Unfortunately, it has been mostly forgotten already. Um, it's too bad. At least I could never forget it. Um, it's one of the games I played in the arcades, as I mentioned. Um, So yeah, it's uh, like a 3D arena shooter. Um, the modern game that I can think of um, that plays like this, I don't know, um, the, the Gundam? The Gundam Versus? <laughs> of course, it's almost like an insult to Gundam. Um, graphics are kind of primitive for today's standards but it's uh, clean enough it's not like a blurry mess like most um, 3D games all right So that's actually just how matches go. Um, it depends on your skill at aiming your, like your missile or bombs, to the enemy as you run around the arena. I have to say, controlling this game on a PlayStation controller is kind of... Um, it, it lacks the feel of, of uh, piloting the, the vehicle there, unlike when you're in the arcade, but it's easier to move around at least, to be honest. Uh, oh, this guy's really trying to do a kamikaze on me. Oh, there. I survived. So I guess this is one of the earlier titles in the PlayStation. And yeah, as I mentioned, I know for certain this has been largely forgotten already. You won't see this on anyone else's um, essential PlayStation classic lists or something like that. I suppose it does get repetitive later on so but as with any battle or versus games it's best played when you're against with someone all right some circle strafing there yeah I'm 
going against a pink sled, as they call it. Yeah, I think that goes about too fast. I don't know, maybe because we're running on a um, USB drive instead of uh, like a disk drive. But anyway, everything plays great. Everything loads correct. Sounds and graphics are as um, normal as I remember. And it feels great that I'm able to play this again, uh, uh, this game again. And this time on uh, on like an HDMI connection. Oh, this guy. Oh, he got me. Oh, that's okay. All right. I'm not sure what's happening. Probably the game over game screen. Over. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's actually a nice uh, game over screen. It shows you the vehicles in like a garage. So I forgot that this didn't actually have continues. So I'll just end the video here. Thanks for watching uh, eight bit days a week. And this was Cyber Sled. I do well. It's a fun game. But I don't think uh, this will go in anyone's uh, USB drive for their PlayStation Classic. And I can understand that. Probably give it a try. Just one, a few, one or two. A few times. Um, that should be fine. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.